What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing issues 118 of Build the Terminator T800 and we're going to be doing issues 119 of Build the Terminator T800 as well. So uh, the first thing we need to do is grab all our pieces out. So what we'll do is we'll go grab them out. They come in a lovely little box like this. So we're going to grab these out, see what we've got in there and we'll talk about that in just a sec. Okay guys, we have now got all our pieces out, so we get the uh, last piece of the puzzle for the lovely velvet bottom, which will obviously go on here, but it's not telling us to do that yet, but we will just sit it on there out the way for now. So this is going to be issue 118, so we'll just pop that to the side. What he wants us to do, we're going to be building on that weighted bracket that we had from the last issue, which is just here. And we are going to be installing 118-1 uh, onto 116-2. So basically, it's going to sit in there like that. Which sits in there quite nicely, actually. And this is made of metal as well, so it's quite sturdy. So as you can see, it will sit like that. And what it wants us to do, it wants us to take these large bolts which are just here so there's one two three four bolts there's one spare as well which is this one and it wants us to use the nuts on the end and what we're going to do is we're going to install them into here all the way through and then we're going to be putting the nuts on the end and tightening that up so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and i'll be back in just a sec Okay guys, once you've done that, you will have one of these bolts left over, so that's a spare. Keep that to the side. As you can see here, uh, these are now done up. These are kind of hand tight, but we will do them up um, by the pliers and the screwdriver in a moment. But the bolts go through this way, so they go through this way through there. And they line up really easily, they're done really, really well. And then the little nuts go on the end there. And then you just got to tighten them up with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. If you want to, what you can do is you could just put them on and hold them on that side. You can get a tiny little spanner if you want to, uh, but if you want to make sure they're tight, just go over them, hold them on with the pliers, just give them one little turn, just so you get that extra bit of tightness, just so you know it's not going to come loose because you don't need this to be loosened up. And there you go, so that's in place. Right, so let's just really check what it wants us to do next, because I don't think it wants us to install this piece until after we've installed this piece in there, which is a little bit strange, but uh, you know, it's just doing what it wants to do, so let's honor it and do that. So what it's saying for us to do now, let's just put this to the side and bring this back into play. And then what you have to do, you have to locate your two holes, so you should have a hole here and hole here on that side just make sure your cabling is out of the way as well so that if you can see that and then what you need to do then is you need to put this section through the top there and then it wants you to push it all the way through so it comes out the other side so we just need to go all the way through we just need to make sure it's not hitting anything. So there is a pipe in here actually that it's hitting. So I don't know why they asked us to install that pipe because it is actually in the way. But we can get it through. So once that's through there, like that, what you need to do is there are four screws on this side. So we're going to go ahead and pop those in and I'll show you what that looks like in one sec. As you can see now guys, this panel is now into place. So this is the weighted panel and there's got four screws. So you've got one, two, three, four screws there. They're the small black screws that they come with. You can't get them wrong. Uh, this battery thing is actually quite annoying and it probably would need gluing in, but it is very loose and uh, it doesn't hold in gray. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn it up just so you can see what it looks like this way round. So as you can see here, this is now going to be the support for the Terminator here. But now it's asking us to go and put this piece into place. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down. We've got one, two, three, four of the black screws left 
we're going to put that piece in we're going to have a quick look at that and then we're going to carry on with the build so i'll see you guys in a sec okay guys so we have now put that last panel into place so what i'm going to do is just turn it around this way so you can see so that panel is now there so this section is all now done uh, as you can see here this is the battery tray there and we will probably have to zoom out for the rest of it but it want, what it wants us to do now it wants us to just pop there are a couple of i might have to turn it around this way oh let's just put that back in quickly be two seconds so this way around unless uh this is on the back and we just double check so yeah to, towards the back you should have these two holes which are which are fine which is exactly where they're supposed to go and then these little brackets here what you need to do is you kind of fold them in like that and it's asking us to place them in and then click them in to place so they kind of go in downwards so it's saying for us to put the fold them over so let's just fold it over first i don't know if this is going to ping or not and then it's saying for us to put them in the hole whoa so let's just do it again fold that over i guess it needs to have a bit of a spring to it put it in that hole and then feed it all the way down so you need to go all the way down until it clicks into place. But obviously I can't do it with my hand, so I'll just use the end of my screwdriver and feed it down until it reaches that point. You don't want to go too far. You just need to make sure it clicks in. It's getting there, there you go. So then you've got that push spongy bit like that. So we need to go do the same on the other side. So let's just quickly do that. So let's fold it over. It's very springy, so just bear that in mind. And then when you get it in, as I said, use the screwdriver in the middle of it, poke it up, but do it very slowly, because if you go past that point, I don't know how you're gonna pull it back. So just be very careful. There you go. So now you have the two springy sections like so. Right, it's asking us to make sure that we put these little feet pads on. Um, I'm not going to put them over the top of the screws because I will want to be taking it apart again. But what it's saying for us to do here, guys, is just saying to put the little pads on. So I'm just going to put them just to the side of the screws because I, I want to be able to take this apart again, like I said. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them on. I'm just not going to cover the screws. I'm just going to put them near the screws so that they are just to the side of them so we can take these panels off again at a later stage. And as you can see, these are now the feet. And what we'll do is we'll flip this up like so. And then you can see how it's gonna come up. So look at, well, the spring there. So it's looking really, really good. Now we haven't added all the stuff it told us to add because I don't see the point of adding all that when you're gonna be flipping it up and turning it around. And plus, when it comes to the end of it, you guys will get the gist that all the bits go on there, and you know, the skull goes into place, covers the switch up. But we're gonna have the power mod, uh, so it's gonna come out, obviously, obviously, out the back here as well, which is just out the back here, sorry. So it's looking really, really incredible. And um, so obviously, we will be joining onto this, so I'll be bringing my camera out on the next issue. Uh, so I'll just quickly flip through, just so you can see where we're at. So let me get to the end, I don't want to ruin any of the reads for you. So it says we'll be back in the next issue. Uh, so in the next issue, which we're going to be doing right now, is going to be issue 119. So that looks like that. So what we're going to do, going to go grab those pieces and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay guys, we've got all the pieces out. So as you can see here, there's quite a few pieces. So we've got the top section that goes up here. We will be zooming back out in a minute so you can guys can see. The chain is actually real metal chain uh, and it's made to look rusty. There's a couple of uh, holding brackets and then there's a lot of things on here uh, as well. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom you right out. So build me two seconds while I do that. And then we'll have a look at the whole of it so that you guys can see me building as we're going along. So I know we're probably going to be missing the top of the Terminator, but we can't do much about that. 
we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're not going to probably be able to see the top of the Terminator. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll do a recap video on looking at the whole scale of it because this is pretty much going to be like the end video. So we'll see how well it goes because he is so heavy. Uh, I might have to bring the table down to show you and just do an up and down motion of showing it off. So you want to make sure that you've got your top section here, which is 119-1 which is just here, and that's the upper part of stand. 119-2 is this bracket here, the support plate. Uh, you wanna have 119-3, the three screw sleeves, and they are like just little, tiny little tube sleeves. Uh, you wanna make sure you've got the chain, which is 119-4, which is just here. Um, the uh, six times 35 millimeter thumb screws, which we uh, don't know if we have six, one, two, three, four. Is that a thumb screw? Two, six times 35 millimeter thumb screws. Oh, I think that's them ones. Let's have a quick look. 119-5. Um, oh, they're saying those, but it's not six, obviously it's just, it's just six times, but there's two of them, so. 119-6, the M, three nuts, which are just here, little nuts, and then four uh, 30 millimeter, three millimeter screws. So they are these ones and one spare, so those ones. I don't know why I'm saying there's six of those. I think they just probably got that mistakenly done, so nothing we can do there. Right, so what we need to do now is we just need to flip over and see what it wants us to do here. So it's saying for us to put the PM3 times 30 screws and sleeves into position. So what it wants us to do, it wants us to face the bracket that way, and then it wants us to click it in place. So it's telling us to install the top bracket onto this first. So I'm just gonna see if I can just move this to the side and we're gonna work on this bit here. And what it's saying for us to do, it's saying for us to put the screws through. So obviously you have to bear in mind that these are gonna click into these holes on the back that way. So you want to make sure you've got the front facing bit without any holes. So you want to be building the bracket on the face of it. So when you put the screws through, it's asking us to put the screws through to the face of it. So they go all the way through there, like so. So there's one, and then two, and three. And then these three need to stay in position. So we need to try and lay this down with them staying there, which we can. So we're gonna lay onto there. And then the three sleeves will go on top. So one, two, three sleeves, just like so. And then what it wants us to do here, it wants us to put the bracket into position and it wants the bracket facing upwards. So it just needs to go over like so. And then what it's saying for us to do here is to just attaching it together with the screws. So we just need to start them off on this side. So all the nuts, should I say, it's his screws, but they're nuts. So just tighten those up. And then on this side, I just need to tighten that up too. And then on the front face here, also gonna tighten that up in just a moment. There. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my screwdriver and my pair of pliers. You can get um, the right size threads for these. And I'm just gonna put that on the end there and hold that in position. And just tighten those up nicely. It won't take long. And then that will just go into there. Tighten that bit up. And then the bottom one here, let's hold that on and tighten that up it's nice and tight so you should have something that looks a little bit like that so this flush here it's got the bracket on there with the screw holes through it and that's how it's held in so that's how it looks on here and that's how we've done it so hopefully that's fine so what it's asking us to do now is asking us to install this onto the base itself so if we just bring this over it wants us to click this over the top here like that. And then you just push in your little tab holes and then push that down. And then we're gonna click it into the first holes because I don't know how far we're supposed to go with this. 
plug it in there. There you go. So that's clicked into place. So as you can see, that's now done. And then what it's asking us to do, it says that you've got to lay the chain, you know, down on here. We're going to decorate all that later on. We don't need to worry about that right now. All we need to worry about is we've got to try and put the terminator on there. So what it's saying for us to do is saying to put the screws in the back of the terminator first. The terminator is mighty heavy. I know you know it's mighty heavy. We're going to try and do this. He hasn't been off the shelf for a little while. And I hope he appreciates it. It's kind of in the fetus position. That's how long he hasn't been out. So I'm just going to lay him on there. Just let him rest for a minute. I'm just going to find the screw that is rolling away from me. And put that back on the shelf. Down there. And then on the back of him, so we need to turn him around. Sorry about this guys. We just need to we're gonna try and turn him maybe on his side. There you go. And then on the back here, there is a position here for two of the screws to go into. So we just need to make sure we don't cross thread these. It's actually quite a clever design because I guess it's just gonna hook over the top there then. And then we screw those in. How far I do not know. But we're just gonna do them up a little bit. Just enough so we can hook him on. And then what it's saying for us to do is to put them in a little bit, yeah. And then we want to be able to hook him on to the base. So maybe we'll go in a little bit more. I guess you can't go all the way. Yeah, it's only going a certain way. So at least we know that it's only a certain distance that we can put it in. And then we're going to hook him on to the base. So we need to bring him over. I don't know how well this is going to go. We will find out. So this will sound like this. We're going to lift him up on his arms underneath. Like so. And then I'm going to hook him on. Like that. Straighten his leg up. I feel like he's not even touching the waist right now. And there we have it. <laughs> He's so tall he can't even see him. He's ridiculously tall. Um, I'm not sure. We're going to have to probably try and zoom out or bring the table down. Uh, but we will check this out. So yeah, so he hooks on like that. He seems pretty sturdy. I guess he's just standing on the base, isn't he? And then it says to put all the stuff in position. And that is literally it for the Terminator. The Terminator is technically finished. Obviously, we are still going to be building the remote in the next issue, which it does tell you to do. And then we're going to switch him on and see him all moving and everything like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and show him off better than this. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to move some stuff and maybe lower the table right down. So bear with me. We'll be back in just a second. You can see what it looks like on the stand. So give me a sec. Right, guys. So this is literally the only way I could get him in is so that you can see my whole YouTube studio and all my junk up here uh, because he is so epically tall. So as you can see here uh, with him, how he's standing, he does come with, obviously, uh, if you get the subscription, he does come with the gun as well. And uh, we will install that, but we do have another video coming where we have to do the remote as well, which will be the last issue, which we will be doing very soon. And then obviously we will be doing uh, other bits to him as well. We've got the weathering to do. We're gonna glue all the base together, um, but he's so incredible. You can see how big he is. Like, he's just huge. So he's the size of, like, a small child. But, yeah, he's so cool. So it's basically saying that it should look like this at the end of all the, uh, you know, all the little bits. But we can't do that right now, uh, obviously, because we want to modify the base. But as you can imagine, 
they would just be laying all over here. You'd have the skull, the teeth, the skeleton, uh, all of it would be there. Uh, we will position him to be holding the gun as well. But as you can just look, just how incredible this model is. This came out of a part build kit that came monthly. Like it's absolutely insane how good this is. So if they can do this, you know that if they did Johnny Five, um, anything like that, robot wise it's gonna look incredible if it comes out like this we're in for a treat it's quite sturdy so i say it's quite sturdy it's got a weighted bottom underneath as you can imagine so this is kind of all just for show uh, we will light it all up we just need to go get the batteries but we will do um, a final recap video of him how he is now uh, and then we will obviously build the remote as well so you can see us building that and then we'll test him out to make sure that he works and then we'll be doing uh, the power mod as well if we haven't already done it um, in previous uh, issues so there you go um, guys thank you very much for coming to uh, watch uh, my videos I really hope you liked this video as much as I do making them um, if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe just by clicking the button just in the bottom corner set the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos and then if you have any questions or you're building this uh, please leave them in the comment section down below and uh, I'll see you guys for the next one take care now bye bye